Um, this was the last stop on a three city tour. Um, I mean, I, I started this trip in Nashville, meeting with the number two guy at Big Machine, which is Taylor Swift's um, record label. And um, talking to other people and hearing some really amazing concerts face to face, um, seeing what the music industry is thinking of augmented reality and understanding that and understanding what, <clears throat> where they are politically and, and you know, because we talked with uh, the artists and uh, understood where they are. And um, went to the Grand Old Opry, went to, you know, lots of little touristy things. And uh, came to a camp uh, in California in Esalen, which uh, within 20 minutes I was naked with other people. <laughs> they don't like me talking about that on camera, but that's the magic because you get people into that kind of state, all of a sudden all your pretension and your ego and your uh, importance to the world, and there's a lot of important people here, goes away, right? And you start um, just talking with people rather than trying to protect yourself. And so that um, leads to deep conversations in a way you can't have them. And, uh, I haven't been off my phone now for a week and a half, which is extraordinary for me. <laughs> and it took those kinds of experiences to get me off my phone. <laughs> but now that I've been off my phone for a week and a half, I ended it here with a talk about um, why we all need, need to get on the same team about global warming and um, use augmented reality to educate people, um, which if we uh, don't save the earth and we don't save ourselves, uh, if, at least we'll have more educated people to talk with and have a little bit better conversation. Because people who, who travel the world are more interesting to talk to because they have more life experience. Well now augmented reality can take every kid who has no money to travel or no ability to travel around the world so that person can see what it's like to be at the Egyptian pyramids or what it's like to be in a South African safari or what it's like to be at Coachella in the front row of music festival, or, right? These are all experiences I've had because I'm extraordinarily lucky. But everybody's gonna be lucky soon because <laughs> everybody's gonna be able to go into everybody else's space and, and uh, uh, understand the world in 360 and when you do that you understand each other at a higher and faster rate and it's more interesting so that's my dream <laughs> brought to you by apple <laughs> 2018 are we doing it again um yeah that would be a lot of fun i would i think i would love to do this tour again next year it's more interesting than going to ces for sure <laughs>